Hi students, today we are going to discuss the chapter electricity of grade 10. So, first we are discuss, we are going to discuss the term what is electric current and next we are going to discuss the term potential difference. As I told you before, electric current is nothing but if we consider a conductor which has charge which is which consists of electron free electrons electron has charge if this electron flows if the charge flows that is what we call electric current so electric current is nothing but it is the rate of flow of charges so this is the conductor and inside it's a charge when charge flows the how well how much the charge flows that is what we call current so current is nothing but rate of flow of charges we can denote by using that alphabet i so current is equal to charge divided by time so i can say like this q q means charge and t means time so electric current i is equal to q by t and unit of electric current unit of electric current is ampere which we can denote by using the alphabet a so this is what we call electric current rate of flow of charges i is equal to q by t and unit of current is ampere right now i'm going to discuss what is meant by potential difference potential difference is nothing but if this is the conductor i told you electric current is nothing but flow of charges electric current is nothing but flow of charges but if i want to make this charge flow i want to give some work done yeah i want to give some work done this is the cell if i apply cell the cell gives some work on the charge then only charge will move if there is no work done on the charge the charge will not move it means potential difference is nothing but work done to move a charge from one point of the conductor to the other point of the conductor once again potential difference is nothing but work done for example if i consider this as the charge i want to give work work to move a charge from one point to another point that is what we call potential difference which we can denote by using pd potential difference or v we can use voltage v Potential difference and voltage are almost same. Small, slight difference is there that we will study in future. So, potential difference, this is current. Without potential difference, there will no current. You may have confusion why it is so. Because potential difference is just work done to move a charge. Work done to move a charge. If I am not doing any work, charge will not move. If charge is not moving, I can say work is not done means no current is there so potential difference is there then only electric current will be there if there is no potential difference there will be no electric current by using these two term i can say once again potential difference is nothing but potential difference is equal to potential difference is equal to work done to move a charge so potential difference is equal to work done to move a charge we can write like this in simplest way w work done and move a charge v unit of potential difference unit of potential difference is volt which can be denoted the capital letter v so potential difference unit is volt it can be denoted by the alphabet v right now we are going to discuss the another topic that is what we call ohm's law that is what we call ohm's law so as I told you before, Ohm's law of is nothing but this is the conductor, this is the charge, many consist of free electrons. Electron has charge. If electron flows, that is what we call current as I told you before. But it will not flow simply. We have to give some work done to move. We have to give some work done to move. So that work done is what we call potential difference and movement of charge, that flow of charge, rate of flow of charge is what we call current. Ohm's law is nothing but if potential difference is more, current will be more. If potential difference is less, current will be less. It means the potential difference is work done to move a charge. If that is low, 
the current will also be low if potential difference that work done is more current will also be more so potential difference increases current will increase if potential difference decreases current will decrease so we can write potential difference and current is directly proportional directly proportional so directly proportional is nothing but it means one factor increase other factor will also be increased and one factor decrease other factor will also be decreased it means its relation is always linear keep it in your mind we can write this equation like this potential difference is directly proportional to current v is proportional to i v i as i told you before potential difference we can name it as voltage so v proportional to i if i want to make this as equation i need a equal to sign as i told you before if i want to convert that proportional sign into equal to equal to sign what i have to do i want one constant because that is what we call proportionality constant v is, propo v is proportional to directly proportional to i that is not at all equation if i want to make it as equation i need a constant so i'm going to give a new constant for this v is equal to i so i make this proportional sign as equal to i need a constant here i took r as a constant where r is resistance where r is resistance so according to the ohm's law v is equal to i r so r is what resistance you may have doubt what do you mean by resistance resistance is nothing but it is an opposing force it is an opposing force which oppose the current for example if there is current the same wire resistance is there if resistance is there it means it opposes the current it just slows down the current it means the current flow will be less if there is more resistance if resistance is less current will be more if current will be if resistance is more current will be less what do you understand from that current and resistance are just inversely proportional why it is because current is more resistance will be less resistance will be less current will be more this is what we call resistance resistance depends mainly four factors resistance mainly depends on four factors point number 1 if length of the conductor if the length of the conductor increases if the length of the conductor increases resistance will also be increase so resistance is directly proportional to the length yeah if there is big wire lengthy wire you are using in your home don't use that because if there is lengthy wire the resistance will be more and current will be less so resistance is directly proportional to the length it means length increases resistance increases then second factor resistance is inversely proportional to the area of cross section resistance is inversely proportional to the area of cross section it means that if area area of cross section increases if area of cross section increases resistance will decrease if area of cross section decreases resistance will increase so if you are using thick wire the area of cross section will be more if area of cross section will be more resistance will be less if resistance is less the current will be more this is the second factor which depends on resistance which re depends resistance okay the third factor nature of the material nature of the material if i take two material like uh, plastic and silver or else plastic and aluminum these two materials are different okay if the two materials are different it means according to the change in material the resistance will also be different so resistance depends on nature of material if there is two different material the resistance will also be different so the resistance depends on third nature of material and fourth one is resistance depends on temperature resistance depends on temperature it means if if we are considering two material which has different temperature according to the change in temperature resistance will also be changed so resistance depends on four factors as i told you before length area nature of the material and temperature so unit of resistance is ohm unit of resistance is ohm that we can write like this ohm the symbol is what we call ohm so unit of resistance is ohm okay i'm going to rub this one okay dear students the symbol is what we called resistor this symbol is what we called resistor resistor is nothing but which offers resistant component which offers resistance 
in circuit we may put this this kind of material this kind of component this is the component named resistor if i kept resistor in the circuit it oppose the current so resistor is the device which offer resistance resistor is the component which offer resistance okay this is the resistor right now we are going to discuss the topic called resistors in series resistors in series okay i am going to take three resistor 1 2 3 3 resistor which is connected to the cell three resistor this resistors are connected in this way this is what we call resistors in series and these are three resistor r1 r2 r3 if i connect resistor in series please keep it in your mind if i connect resistors in series current through each resistor will be same so first point current through each resistor will be same and one more important point but potential difference across each resistor will be different important point current through each resistor will be same and potential difference across each resistor will be different this is important point so i can say like this here current is i here current is i here current is i you may get confused why it is like so because current is same that's why i didn't put 1 2 3 1 but here the potential difference is v1 here the potential difference is v2 here the potential difference is v3 why it is like so because potential difference is different in each and every resistor because if it is connected in series okay according to ohm's law according to ohm's law as i told you before v is equal to ir this equation is important i marked it as first equation then so here the voltage is different here the potential voltage is different and here also voltage is different so different thing is voltage okay so i'm going to find each and every resistors potential difference separately okay so potential difference across resistor r1 potential difference across resistor r1 we can write like this v1 is equal to i r1 v first resistor v1 the resistor voltage v1 i current same no need to put i1 i2 i3 because current is same r1 is the first resistor okay then potential difference across resistor r2 resistor r2 is this potential difference of r2 is v2 potential difference of r2 is v2 is equal to i r2 you may get confused why i put i because current is same everywhere second resistor i marked it as r2 then third resistor potential difference across resistor r3 that we can mark it as the third resistor potential difference is v3 v3 is equal to current is i and resistor is r3 so v3 is equal to i r3 current is same everywhere that's why i didn't put 1 2 3 here okay so this is time to find the total voltage so total voltage v is equal to if you want to find total voltage just add all those v1 v2 plus v3 as i told you before v is equal to ir so instead of v i write ir here instead of v1 instead of v1 i'm going to write i r1 the next plus instead of v2 i write i r2 plus instead of v3 i wrote i r3 so ir is equal to can i take can i take this i outside yeah i r1 plus r2 plus r3 cut this i i so r is equal to r1 plus r2 plus r3 if resistors are connected in series if resistors are connected in series we can find the equivalent resistance or total resistance by using the equation r1 plus r2 plus r3 so this is what we call resistors in series next we are going to discuss resistors in parallel
resistors in parallel this is first resistor second resistor third resistor r1 r2 r3 i connected to the cell or battery this type of connection is what we call resistors in parallel if resistors are connected in parallel how to find the equivalent resistance we have to make equation if resistors are connected in parallel there are two important thing current through each resistor current through each resistor will be different current through each resistor will be different and pot potential difference across each resistor will be same keep it in your mind current through each resistor will be different and potential difference across each resistor will be same this point is important it means here current will be i1 through r2 current will be i2 through r3 current will be i3 but here the potential difference will be v itself here the potential difference will be v here potential difference will be v why it is because potential difference is same because it is in parallel so i wrote like this according to ohm's law according to ohm's law v is equal to ir as i told you before and i want to find i so i is equal to can i take to r to that side so v by r so i is equal to v by r here we are going to find i why it is because i is different here their voltage was different that's why i find v1 v2 v3 here current is different i am going to find current for each and every resistor okay so current through resistor r1 what is the current through resistor r1 we have an equation i1 is equal to current through here we have to write 3 here we have to write here we have to write 1 because it is 1 1 no? resistor current through resistor 1 i1 is equal to v by r1 no need to write v1 why it is because v we have to write v because v is same potential difference is same everywhere so no need to write v1 next current through resistor r2 this is resistor r2 we have to write current through resistor r2 that is i2 is equal to i2 is equal to instead of i we have to write i2 equal to sign v we have to write v itself why it is because potential difference is same so v divided by and r second resistor we have to write r2 then current through resistor r3 we have to find current through resistor r3 that is i3 because current through resistor r3 is i3 i3 is equal to v by r3 v by r3 because potential difference is same everywhere no need to write v1 v2 v3 and current is i3 and resistor is r3 okay so we have to find total current we have to find total current that is i is equal to i1 plus i2 plus i3 as what we did before the same step i am going to follow here too that is i is equal to v by r so instead of i i am going to write v by r instead of equal to sign just put equal to sign itself i1 what is i1 v by r1 so instead of i1 i wrote v by r1 plus instead of i2 i wrote v by r2 instead of i3 plus I wrote V by R3. So V by R is equal to V, V, V upside that numerator V is common. So I am going to take that V upside, V outside. If I take V outside, there will be 1 here. So 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3. Can I take this V to that side? So V by V into R because into I, if I take to that side become divided by R. So divided by V. So 1 by R1 plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 cut this v v you will get 1 by r is equal to because i cut v v here so upside numerator 1 will be there 1 by r is equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 this is the equation to find resistors in parallel so 
for resistors in series for resistors in series we can use r is equal to r1 plus r2 plus r3 if it is n resistor we can plus up to n resistors okay if resistors are in parallel we have to find 1 by r is equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 plus dot 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 up to 1 by r and how many resistors are that according to that you can make equation sometimes if resistors value will be same r1 r2 r3 r4 r5 the value will be same if the values are same no need to do this method we have one shortcut if resistors are connected in series but value of each resistor is same then we can use a equation r dash is equal to nr r dash is equal to nr you may get confused what is this it is nothing but number of if it is same value number n n into r n is number of resistor and r is value of resistance so if it is same value you can use this for parallel also we have one equation if it if, if all resistor have same value we can use r dash is equal to r by n r dash is equal to r by n this is the equation to do parallel and this is the equation to use series but difference is this we have to use the same value and more number of resistor here also but if the value of resistance is different you can use this equation for series and this equation for parallel hope it is clear what i said today's class is over today we discussed what is electric current what is potential difference and what is resistors in series what is resistors in parallel and what is ohm's law if it is same value what you have to do if it is different value what we have to do in series both in series and parallel hope you understood thanks a lot thank you